Welcome to Fiora, and welcome to, well, Remless 40 k channel as we check out Eternal Crusade. Now, the volume for this is going to be muted. You're just going to hear me. And the reason for that is because all of this footage was actually taken directly from my live stream. Not stuff I'm recording right now. As you can see, my hands are free. Now, here we're checking out all the options to show you guys what is available and how to change and manipulate things in the options menu. But for the most part, uh, this is Eternal Crusade. I say for the most part because this live stream had like four different games in it. It was the experimental live stream where I had like four different games going. Just to see what people's reaction were, were to them. Now the music is okay. It's not my particular taste. But it's there. Uh, as you can see, I turned it off. And some of these I didn't really understand. Now, I chose to play as Chaos. There's two reasons for this. One, when I tried to play as regular Space Marines, we were sitting in queue for six minutes. And two, I prefer Chaos to Space Marines. Now, I'm looking for a Slaneshi uh, Chaos Space Marine Legion. There's not one right now. There's flat out not one. Sorry to burst your bubble. But that's the truth. There's just flat out not one right now. And yeah, it, it kind of disappointed me quite a bit to see that. So then I had to sit here for a little bit and judge which one of these I actually wanted to fight for. And as you might have guessed, I, um, I kind of had a discussion with the chat to figure out which one that I was going to fight for. But we got it situated, eventually. I know you're sitting there listening to me rant right now uh, as a part of this review. Now, I am going to say this. I didn't like the game. How much did I not like the game? I, I went and got a refund. Just flat out, I went and got a refund. Um, because it's going to play a lot, and you guys are going to see this from the footage. It plays like Battlefield or Call of Duty covered in Warhammer 40k juice. And that kind of... That was more than disappointing, actually. That was grossly upsetting. And I don't know what else to, to say about it from there. I mean, we're going to see some gameplay footage, obviously. Quite a bit of gameplay footage. I hope I've edited this down as much as I possibly can because there were six hours of footage to go through in order to get you guys everything everything that I could for this. But yeah, I I didn't like it. I, I, I personally did not like it because I don't like Call of Duty and I don't like Battlefield. They're not my games. They're not games I go to to play. They're not things I terribly enjoy. And that's the honest truth. So we're going to skip ahead here, and we get into loadout selection. And loadout selection, um, well, you have your choice of melee weapons and your choice of class. The biggest issue I have here as far as balance is concerned is that Chaos does not get a shield. You don't get one as your ground assault. You get the Mark of Nurgle, which just gives you more hit points. It doesn't actually stop damage. And you have your choice between Power Fist, Chain Sword, and they all play differently. They all just absolutely play differently. I couldn't really find a significant distance between the, uh, the Smart Bolt Pistol and the regular Bolt Pistol, and there was no point cost between them. So you have that. Um, and there's no tutorial for this, by the way. There's no tutorial. There's no PVE mode. There's a promised PVE mode, but that was promised back in February. It's now mid-May, and they still haven't delivered it. 
there's only this PvP mode we're going to see. Now, Chaos Space Marines get to join instantly. And the reason for this is the population imbalance. Since Chaos and Loyalists have to fight each other, and you can't ally one way, and you can't ally on one side or pretend to be a part of the other side to create a balance, what has constantly ended up happening to me through all of this playthrough was I was getting shafted. I would look up and I would go, oh yay, I have XYZ and they have a six more people than we do. Now you can, just like in Battlefield, you can deploy on APCs, the Rhinos. You can deploy on deployment points. It's third person. Okay, fair enough. Now, right now, we are playing just the plain old tactical marine. I've got a bolter, and I've got a lot of angry, and that's about it. Yeah, you're, um, that actually hurts. Your weapons are not entirely accurate, and your armor is almost exclusively really useless. As you can see. Once someone gets a beat on you, you pretty much go down almost instantaneously. Nothing like Warhammer Space Marine. I'm going to say that now. Granted, unless somebody finishes you off, people can get you back up, but you need to get to... Seek medical help immediately to end your critical state, but it doesn't tell me how to do that. So every time I've been pulled back up, I've just stayed in the critical state for the most part because I wasn't told how to get out of it. Now, was I terrible? Yeah, it's my first time playing, and I'm being pitted against veteran players. The matchmaking system just throws matches together of, of as close to equal numbers as it can muster, and oftentimes... Those numbers are not entirely equal. Now, as you can see, his shield basically blocked everything until my allies got involved in it. His shield was effectively invulnerable, and that's something the Chaos doesn't have, and can't have, apparently, by the game rules. Now, I can barely see what's going on because, again, I'm critically wounded, and it didn't exactly direct me on how to fix that. There's no tutorial. There's not even an instruction manual in the game. You just have to figure this stuff out. Now, this time I respawn as a uh, as a heavy bolter. I forget the name of it exactly. A Kavik Marine with a heavy bolter. And that was me testing out the melee strike with the heavy bolter. Now, you're about to see the problem with the heavy bolter. You can't hit the broadside of a barn. Just flat out. The smallest your aim circle gets is the size of your shoulder pad, and as soon as you start firing, accuracy goes out the window. As you can see, none of those shots go towards the center of the circle. I managed to get suppression, and then I got hit with a grenade. And you're going to experience that a lot as well. You're a space marine who constantly gets stunned. And that guy just walked up behind me with a regular bolter and fired a burst into me, and I'm done. I had no idea he was there. It, it's very Call of Duty, very, very, very Call of Duty, uh, or Battlefield style. And I would lean more towards Call of Duty because there's no emphasis on the vehicles. It's very, very Call of Duty style in terms of combat. And I'm saying and a lot. And I'm trying to justify this game somehow, and I can't. I find this to be a terrible Space Marine game. We're going to try out the Raptor, the assault version of the Chaos Space Marines. And I'm just trying out my stuff. And then this Imperial Rhino pulls up. So I try to hit it with my chainsword. I can't damage a Rhino with my chainsword. Okay. I don't have any, I don't have any crap grenades. So I actually can't hurt that Rhino at all. And again, I think three bolter rounds hit me, and I'm down. 
three bolter rounds hit me and I went down. And then I immediately dropped as soon as one more bolter round hit me. I thought Space Marine armor could take more than that. And this doesn't, this doesn't get better, folks. This gets worse. This gets a lot worse. I finished that guy off at least. Um, the last cannon in this game is basically your sniper rifle. I'm just going to be honest. It's basically your sniper rifle. Now I come out here and I can't hurt that rhino. Like, I can't challenge it at all. And I... Trying to kill this guy. And I just bolt her him to death. Bolt pistol him to death. Because I can. To make sure he's dead. And then that rhino opens up on me. At that point, run away. Right? What am I going to do against a rhino? I don't have a power weapon. Actually, I think that's an allied rhino. Why the hell did the allied rhino shoot me? Again, I'm playing this without a tutorial. And this is about the fourth hour I've been playing it. And I'm still just... He hit me with two bolts. Literally two bolts. And I went down. That's, that's not Space Marines. That's the opposite of Space Marines. Let's just be honest. That's terrible. That's awful. That makes me want to cry a little bit. And I really honestly just kind of felt cheated by the game over and over again. And I felt cheated that I'm having to face veteran players over and over again. People who have stuff. Um, whether that stuff results in an actual advantage or not, I don't know. I never, after six hours of play, I never got past level one. I was still a recruit after six hours. Um, which tells you that grinding is going to be a hell of a long time unless you're willing to pay into the microtransactions and boost yourself forward. Yeah, I said that dirty word. You're going to pay 40 bucks for this game and there's microtransactions in it too. Now here's the next thing that really irritated me. Hit detection. We are just swinging at each other, and because we're hitting at the same time, neither of us is hurting. But then when I get two hits on him, he suddenly stuns me and just beats my ass. Switching back to the Havoc Marine, we're going to try out the Heavy Bolter again and see if it gets anywhere. But yeah, I, I don't understand why I hit him twice and did not interrupt his attack. And then he hits me once, and I'm stunned. I Later I got that it was a heavy attack, and that light attacks don't interrupt heavy attacks, and it's a rock-paper-scissors melee system. As you can see, I can't hit that dead body. Like, I could not hit him to kill him while I walked up here to save my friend, more than I could hit my friend. And this is about as fast as I move unless I sprint. So I throw a grenade down the hallway to kind of scare off anything down there while I figure out what's going on. Now, he has a regular bolter. And I have lost half my health. I don't think I've dealt that much damage to him. And my friend just comes up and one-shots him. That's the first kill I got with a heavy bolter. Now I'm spraying a heavy bolter into a ground assault, whose shield is pretty much impervious. And since he's a loyalist, he gets a shield. I don't. That's an execution move on someone. It's basically to say that, you know, I don't have anything better to do than dump my entire clip into your dead corpse. Now here's where I finally figure out that you have to go to supply crates to get rid of critical state. Game didn't tell me that. I just had to kind of figure it out. And the only reason I went to the supply crate is because I was at half ammo. And I'm like, oh, that's how you get rid of critical state. 
Why didn't you tell me that or give me any any indication of that? You just let me have to figure it out without anyone telling me. Now we're attempting to claim this point and I quickly quickly discover that you have to claim them in order. A, B, C, D. Because if you look up, C and D are locked. Which puts the advantage into the defender's category to an extreme measure. At least in my opinion, because it means that they only have to defend the one point. You can't outflank, you have to come to that point and fight them off. And they're in a defensive position. And that's how inaccurate the heavy bolter is. I literally sprayed at that guy first at point blank range and could not for the life of me get a hit that would bring him down. My friend had to come over and do it. And then this guy comes up behind me and hits me once with a power sword and I'm done. Yeah, one and done. One shot. So you can see I'm not having a lot of fun. And the stream slowly devolved into me raging because this was just stupid. Uh, the instructions, by the way, are very counterintuitive. So we get into custom loadouts. I start trying to figure out how to load out different weapons. The last cannon is pretty much a sniper rifle, and the plasma cannon is pretty much a grenade launcher slash mortar. Now, I would like to equip last, the last cannon and the crack grenade so I have something to shoot at ve to throw at vehicles. And we are going to try this again. So here we have it, me going into my custom loadout, looking for my Havoc preset. Basically, you're stuck with the presets no matter what, which is kind of confusing to some degree, but see, here we go. I got my Havoc Marine with a plasma gun. And this is the most fun I had the entire time. You have to charge the plasma gun to fire it. And if you overcharge it too much, you just waste your charge and possibly hurt yourself. Whereas, if you don't, then you just fire and hope you hit the target directly. Because anything but a direct hit, by the way, won't do very much damage. And he literally just dodged through my plasma bolt. And then stunned me. And killed me. I actually swung first, but because of hit detection issues, he dodged through my plasma bolt, which I have found the dodge roll actually doesn't cause that to happen all the time. He dodged through my plasma bolt, and he also still hit me through my power attack and stunned me instead of me stunning him. There are hit detection issues all over the place. It's somewhere in the net code. You just have to get used to it. And since this is strictly PvP, with no actual tutorial, and no actual section to learn how to play, you're just thrown to the wolves against veteran players who have, well... You can tell when you're fighting a veteran player, because they don't do stuff like that. And that was my teammate literally shooting me with a melted gun. And this is me hunkering down to get my armor back. But more importantly... They have insignias and things on their armor. They hit you at long range when I can't seem to hit the broadside of a barn. And I just got killed somehow. I don't even know how. Like, I don't actually know what killed me there. I just died. And... Yeah, I don't have a lot of positives to say. I hate battle. If you like Battlefield, if you like Call of Duty, this might be your game. You might enjoy this. I have played Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. I even enjoyed the multiplayer and I enjoyed the multiplayer PvE and PvP. Um I can't honestly say that I enjoyed this this game for the at all. This to me felt like it had worse RNG than World of Tanks. And that's what happens when you hit someone directly with a plasma bolt. They pretty much instantly die. No idea what killed me. I just died. 
team killed, as a matter of fact. No idea why. I think he threw a grenade and didn't realize that all the enemies up there were already dead. And I literally just spawned and I'm already dying. Like, literally, I just spawned and already getting shot at. Walking up here with the overcharge, release the overcharge with a melee. By the way, there's no actual release button. You have to melee attack in order to not fire the weapon or overload it completely. And that was me hitting a rhino with a fully charged plasma bolt. Did almost no real damage. And I see the heavy assault down there. And think, is he coming up here? So yeah, that's a total overcharge. It's basically you can't fire, you have to cool it off. Now I come running over here to this rhino and start firing plasma bolts into it. And I'm not really hurting it. And I'm getting shot! Doesn't actually tell me this time what killed me. And then it comes back up that I got killed by a tactical marine from somewhere. Right. So for our last attempt, we're going to try out the ground assault for chaos. And I have equipped a bolt pistol and a power fist. Because I wanted to try out the big fist. I wanted to go fist someone. Now I come out here looking for that rhino. Looking for trouble, if you will. And I realize he's gone up there. He's trying to get a respawn point for them to make it easier to attack us. And so I decided, okay, fine, I'm just going to run back inside here and hopefully hold this position until we can attack C. But I decided I wanted to try out the Fire Fist, and I wanted to try out the Chaos Ground Assault, who doesn't get a shield. And yes, I just hit him with a power fist, and he walked through it. You heard me. I hit him with a power fist, and he walked through it. That, or we had another hit registration error, and it didn't actually register me hitting him. I can't tell which. All I know right now is we have 11 minutes left to finish this assault and capture C and D. Which you would think would not be, would be more than enough time. Except for, we're outnumbered. And I didn't know this at the time. They have six more players on the Loyalist team than we have on the Chaos team. Yeah, that's quality animation there. Operating the uh, console with my bolt pistol. Obviously an animation bug. And obviously they're still claiming this is early access. And he just turned around, and I got killed by a teammate. I don't know what the teammate hit me with. All I know is, is that one moment I was at 100% health, and the next moment I was instantly downed. I think he might have actually hit me with a plasma bolt, which would make sense, but... It doesn't seem right that space marines are this squishy. Under, especially Space Marines with the mark of Nurgle. Now I come in, I know that they are lo that they are loyalists, and I'm swinging for the fences. And what just hit me? Okay, I got downed by an ally. Seems a little bit too often that you get downed by friendly players. Actually, I can tell you right now and attest to this a hundred percent. It happens a lot. And I could never play for the Loyalist side because we were literally sitting on there forever. Now, I don't know this at the time, but these screens actually don't show the full strike forces. They only show the ones that are matched up properly. At the end of the game, you'll see that we are actually outnumbered. And they actually have 22 players on the Loyalist team and we only have 16 on ours. At least that's what it showed at the end game stats. So right now, we don't even know that we're outnumbered. We're just playing assuming that we're equal numbered. 
What's worse is I just keep dying. I mean, this is this is an assault marine. This is a ground assault marine with the mark of Nurgle, who is dying like a pansy in two or three shots. This is Call of Duty levels of health. These are not Space Marines. This is Call of Duty in third person with Space Marine juice on it. Granted, some things work better, more closer to lore than they do in in Warhammer 40k Space Marine. The Melta gun works closer to lore. And I see this Rhino and this Predator. And I start hitting them with a Power Fist. That should have ripped that tank in half. Tank's dead. And I punch it again and instantly kill myself. What's the point of me having a power fist if, I, if, as if I'm going to punch a vehicle to make sure it's dead, it's going to kill me instantly? Explain that logic to me. By the way, we just lost all the points. Because again, we're outnumbered. And by the way, there's no punishment for, um... And I come running up to this rhino, because it doesn't... Does that look like a Chaos Rhino to you? A uh, Chaos Predator to you? Does that honestly look like a Chaos Predator to you? That looks like a Loyalist Predator, doesn't it? Hell, these Space Marines look like Loyalist Space Marines, except for the fact they're painted red. I honestly thought that was a that was a loyalist predator, and then I find out oh, it's a chaos marine predator. What? That doesn't even look right. That's not the right aesthetic. Hell, these guys look like regular space. This looks like a regular space marine, if not for the mark of Nurgle on his shoulder and the word bearer symbol on his other arm. I didn't realize Chaos Space Marines looked this th this nice and snazzy and this much like Loyalists. Now, I have this guy dead to rights and no idea what killed me. Doesn't tell me. I'm just... Apparently, he turned around and shot me with his bolter. I showed hit impacts with a power fist twice and I did no damage. And according to the game code, I actually missed. Because I went back and looked at the game code later to look at certain points to see, you know, what was going on. And apparently, according to the net code, I missed. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. How did I miss? But yeah. Um, that's all I'm going to say on this right now. We're going to be ending this right here. So that is Eternal Crusade. It is Call of Duty Space Marine style. Flat out. Call of Duty for Space Marines. It's terrible. It is not something I can endorse in any way, shape, or form. But, I will say, if you like Call of Duty, go for it. If you don't like Call of Duty, I can tell you right now, you will have a bad time. You will have a very bad time very quickly. If you're expecting an experience anything like the Warhammer 40k Space Marine experience you had before, I'm sorry. You're not going to find it here. And that's my final verdict. So, I'm sorry guys. I was hoping for a better game. I actually did all of this on live stream. I was hoping for a better game and was vastly disappointed and how, how much this played like a third person version of Call of Duty. I was so disappointed that I quite frankly just gave up and walked and, and refunded it. But that is how I feel about it. That is my final verdict on the matter. And that is how I have come to expect this game to function for the foreseeable future. Sorry. I'm sorry I have a negative opinion of it. I wish I had a positive opinion of it. I wish I had something good to say about it. But to me, this doesn't... This isn't... This isn't what it's like to play Space Marine. That's for sure. This is what it's like to play Call of Duty covered in Space Marine juice. But... Not Space Marine. 
Anyway, um, I'm going to stop rambling, and I will see all of you hopefully next week for another Warhammer 40k game. And I would like to thank Vrimlace for bringing me over to my ch to his channel. If you want to go check out a good Warhammer 40k game, I'm doing a Battlefleet Gothic Armada Let's Play right now on my own channel. You should come check it out. I'm also taking subscribers as ships, and the rule is if you get lost in the warp or destroyed, I have to replace the ship name with another subscriber. And I'm playing on hard. Um, if you'd like to see more stuff by Remlays and over here on 40k Theories, there's a big subscribe button for you. This is a reminder, guys, that I strictly come over here to show you guys this stuff, and Remlays doesn't pay me. I, I, I just get paid an exposure for, for you guys to come over and check out my channel. If you would like to uh, support Remlays, though, which I do, you should too, he has a Patreon page. Go check it out. And uh, I think there should be the previous episode of of the 40k review games that Remlays and I have been doing right here. We're also considering starting a Let's Play together of some 40k, a 40k game. We haven't figured out which one yet. In the meantime, from my house to yours, this is Fiora signing out for right now, and I'll see all of you later.